Bjergsen going with the Anivia here is potentially setting up for you know, a pretty tough matchup here for the Swain. Uh, it can be very difficult for Swain to actually deal with Anivia. Uh, you put down your ultimate, you can actually block him out of the team fights with the walls. Swain yep. really does need to actually close the gap, get in the middle of everyone to be super effective. And Anivia can be pretty good at actually pushing you back and stopping that. So Skarn can be the lock-in at the very end of it all. Yeah. Interestingly enough, another chain that has to kind of walk at you. There's very yeah. few actual dashes on the clutch lineup. Those walls, and even just like the giant slow field, can really disrupt the clutch gaming team fights. Yeah, Skarner feels very uninspired as, as a last pick of the draft against a team that already has Morgana, already has a Nivea. Uh, two champions which are exceptionally difficult for the Skarner to deal with. Mithy roaming up, and they're looking to challenge the blue. And they're going to let them land the Q to make that one picked up. Now the more damage coming through, putting down to half HP. Nocturne pops the ultimate, but there's no one he can even see to go for easily, but he's trying to make Solo sure his team is behind. safe. Oh, Solo coming behind. I did not notice that one. Yeah, gets dark found. Has to run away, but now look at this one in the back lines there. It's Grick forced to run back, but this could be a quick kill picked up. They might force the egg. Now how about the rest of the damage? As they try the knockdown, Bjergsen for first blood, they're going to get that one. Gold goes over, and now the stun on a Mithy. That's going to be a quick double kill picked up for Lyra. Solo rejoins the fight. No revive, but does it matter? The flash. They're moving not quite going to land, but Haunts are forced to run. He will pop the stopwatch, and all he can Nothing. do is stop and watch himself die as Harold's going to be summoned as well. Three for zero in mid turret, very likely to fall afterward. Definitely the case here, and you're going to hope that Lyra with suppression can make that happen. Not going to be spell shielded by Grig potentially. Now looking for the top they side. They're going to go for a solo. This could be very bad. Pop Steel jumps the wall, still going to be feared and trying to run away. I think he might have the pass, but can't get the last shot to come through in time. Haunts are grabs himself the kill. On to Bjergsen. Four versus two with low health go. bars. They're going to try. Here comes the attempted charm. Not going to get the knockout, but actually finds almost nothing. They almost kill him. Hypo, they're going to get him actually for it. And now it's time for some possible trade kills. They get a Nivea, and this is not good for Dr. Mundo. He's not going to get to go where he pleases. He's trying to run away, but he's not going to do so. A double kill. Two for one on that bottom side. They bought a few seconds, but we'll see as the mid lane pressure comes in. And it's Apollo alone to wave clear, but with an ultimate, he's reasonably safe. Gets rid of most of the minions. Has to burn the ult to dodge away. Oh, he still gets time, and the re-engage might come through. Black Shield burn on Bjergsen. And they can wait that one out. No, they're gonna pop the knockdown to buy some time. Greg can actually flash away. He's afraid. Wait, this could be a very good fight. Can they get anything in there? Solo a bit low on health. Gotta watch out for that one. They find the vine. They find the pullback. Mithy is down and a nice stop flash used. by Pepin stays alive. Pops the ult to kill some damage. Almost gets knocked down. Stays alive though. In the five before the chase back. Now a stop watch in by Lyra as well. But the re-engage could be good. Skarner could be crashing. He is. Sven finds himself the third kill of the game for TSM. The recalls come through, looking at individual gold on players. Most of the clutch sitting on 1,000 gold. They're going to risk the Baron start right now. Again, there's money in pocket they've not spent. They're not actually ahead in items right now. It goes down so fast, though, with the Infernal, plus the Mountain Dragon, plus this Rage Blade. Nocturnal no, no, Pop goes to the spot, and he gets it again! Three in a row for Brick, that is huge! But the fight erupts, Smith is already dead. They found the second as well. This could still be a team fight win for Clutch. They chase down, Solo can revive, Hots are forced to run, and Sven is very, very low. Lyra wants in, can't find the kills just yet. A Baron is still better than two kills, but Clutch has to make use of this power play. Sven, so next time he goes back to base, he's going to be able to complete that. And GSM looking to close in here and, and shut this game out. They are looking. Wants to find a target, but Bjergsen has QSS. It's not a good target. Now a knockup on a hunt. They can get him, though, for this one. The first is going to be there. A nice pickup on the side lane. That is something. But look at this. Going too far forward. Lyra finds himself picked off. The wall comes in, forcing a flash out. Clutch, I don't know if they even saw Lyra moving forward, but everyone else from Clutch was running away. Lyra was running forward, and now Febbin trying to get things done. 4v4 looking for it. Can they make it happen? A flash not available, but a knock is going to be in there for two, and it's going to be an egg for the mid laner. Febby in the front lines gets the oh first across. Just to lead Sven, and a third one falls as well. Clutch Gaming do get the fight they need. Oh, Lyra wants in, wants to fight for that smite. Sven and a half HP, they can go for me, slashless. And there's the ultimate pops in. Now they're going to go for the back line. They've got the egg, the resurrection now on the one. As now it's Bithy stuck inside that pit. Solo going to revive now is Brig. That was the one they had knocked down first. But now Bjergsen slowed down. Look at the plays. Ven gets the kill on a solo, though. It's a 5v4 for TSM. Haunts are very tanky in the front side. And the Elder Dragon still at 7,500. The pick up on that scuttle is going to go over to Clutch Gaming. They'll keep vision here for this one. As Grig is flashless, he's guarding Angelus, and even the Skarner's fire picked up is good for Lyra. We're waiting for his target, QSS, up for most of the primary low. targets, though. No easy pick up there. Wall another reset. Fourth and health again on Elder Dragon. Slow's gonna land. Bjergsen a half HP yet again. The flash they, board, they find the vine, and the black shield comes in for Mithy. The spike out of the side. Picked up for Lyra, and the battle comes in. Grig is dead. Look for Bjergsen. He's an egg now. This could be the fight they win. They've got two kills already. Look for a third. Lyra can't quite make it happen as TSM now forced to run, but that could be a big one. Swing trying to oh. chase in, not quite gonna get it yet, but this is still a battle that clutches one. 
Not quite the knockup. Hanser forced to kite back, though. Inhibitor should be maybe given away. A full in. They've got the kill. He's gone already. Look at the damage output from Apollo. The late game crits are in, and now the dive in. 5v4. Only one turret alive, and it will not stop them. The first revive comes through for Solo. Don't worry, he's got more of that came from his second turret. Falls. Greg in the back line cannot find his kill. Two for zero to clutch. Looking for a third as Ven kites away. Lyra on the chase. He's going to pull him in, make it a third, a fourth, and it's only a couple left alive. That's going to be TSM wiped off the map in clutch, getting their fourth straight win over TSM. Two to one, the record. What a game.